Hey guys, Barifex here. I've been wanting to make a video aimed at newer players for the longest time now. I've just never known where to start. Please note that although I have 3000 hours in the game, I'm still learning and I don't know everything. My aim is to help newer players understand the game a little bit more and not get slapped so much by those with experience. If you do enjoy today's video, make sure to hit that like button or even subscribe and leave a comment below if you have any questions or leave ideas for future videos there also. Firstly, I would like to look at looting and zombies. Now I know for newer players it's very easy just to grab everything you see from food to bricks and everyone's favourite nails. But when you first spawn into a server you should mainly focus on grinding experience and looting weapons and clothing efficiently. 9 times out of 10 I managed to snowball to a gear set by picking up a weapon and taking it by force without having to do any other work, but it is very helpful to know the basics. There are two ways of grinding experience points effectively. There's killing zombies and also farming trees. If you wish to kill zombies, then firstly you have to practice walking backwards and punching them, or finding an efficient melee weapon and stunning the zombies and killing them as such. When dealing with two or more zombies in a group or horde, you should still use the same tactic as with your fists. It may take some practice for new players, but I'm sure you will pick it up very quickly. If you come face to face with a mega zombie, don't try using melee weapons or punching it, as I'm sure you will die very quickly. Instead, try and find an automatic weapon, preferably with a full mag, and then shoot the zombie in the head from a reasonable distance. It may be traumatic at first trying to figure out the zombie's speed and rock throwing abilities, but once again I'm sure you'll get it and the yield of experience points and high tier loot is worth it, but do be wary of other players trying to port you. <laughs> Harvesting trees is probably one of the fastest ways to get experience points in Unturned. You can do this in many ways with different melee weapons, however you can't punch trees like in Minecraft, so stop it and get some help. You should aim to loot campgrounds for camp axes or fire stations for fire axes, which are both slower ways of cutting trees. Or you should prioritise visiting the different farm areas on each map in search of a chainsaw which will guarantee a faster yield of experience and logs. Remember kids, deforestation is your friend. You can also earn experience by punching targets in military locations, harvesting berries from bushes or mining metal nodes around the map, but again this will come in a later video. You're probably wondering how to now access the experience you've accumulated, well it's easy. Bring up the experience tab, which you can access through your inventory right at the top right here. Now firstly I recommend levelling your cardio and stamina perks which make you much faster and allow for less stamina to be used which is ideal from running into and away from combat situations. Then you should look at either levelling your parkour skill which makes you jump higher and use less stamina and especially your shooting skills. Hockeys are very important for different combat situations. It allows you to hockey medical supplies, grenades and even food and drink. Now to do this you hover over the item and right click. Then press any number on your keyboard from 3 to 9 as the first two slots are used for your primary and secondary weapon. Now you can see the items displayed on your hood and you can now quickly switch to them. On Washington and PEI all towns have a spawn for civilian weapons, be it from zombies, police stations or gun stores, however it is important that you also know where the ranger and military items spawn. The military locations on PEI are as such. The military locations on Washington are as such. You can also find military weapons at Scorpion 7 which is situated here. The ranger locations on PEI are as such. The ranger locations on Washington are as such. So guys I get a lot of questions on stream about how I loot efficiently and how I can loot quickly as well. Um, so I thought I'd clear that up in this video now. I've just got a random assortment of items that I found on the map in here. Um, a lot of these you won't need, especially the nail gun. I promise you, you don't need it. So stop picking it up, please. Uh, and also the tactical light. Um, so straight away, I'd just like to say new players will come over and they'll press F very slowly. And they'll try and pick up the items. They'll try and neutralize where it is. Or they'll go into the inventory and drag everything over. Stop it. You don't need to do that, okay? So I'm going to show you guys how to do this very quickly, okay? So if you're in a fight and there's someone shooting at me from the hill over there, I'd come over and I'd start spamming F to try and pick them up. Obviously, I'm just like, I've just spawned in, I'm a noob. All of this is all of this is relevant to me. I can use the heartbreaker to fire back, but no. Spamming F is useful when you're fighting, but to loot efficiently, for instance, if I already had a lot of this gear and I've just killed this player, I have a couple of seconds to loot. I'm just going to come straight up to this body. I'm going to lie down because I know there's no one around here. Or you can stand up, I would recommend lying down because look at how much of a target you are here. And now you've got a low profile, you can straight away jump around. So you're going to lay down in the loot pile. You're going to hold down control and you're going to just click. Left or right click and you'll bring the items into your inventory. Just like this. And you can do that very quick. You can just hold down control and then just spam with your mouse. And that's the most efficient way that you're going to be able to pick items up. 
So I'm going to drop all that for you right now and show you that one more time. You're just going to hold down control and just spam it all into your inventory. Similarly, if you want to get rid of the items, you can just hold down control and left or right click them out of your inventory also. Just like that. Get rid of them. Now, for instance, if I had no slot for my primary weapon here, I've got this nail gun instead. As I said, please do not pick this up. Um, and you want the heartbreaker, you do exactly the same thing, but it's only going to go to where you have space. If I already had items here uh, in, my, in my hand slot, if I can show you that now without being a retard, um, you can't pick it up. It says missing space. So as long as you have space, the item will go into your, uh, into your inventory like this. Now, stripping weapons is also very important here. So what you want to do is you want to right click on the item and click strip. Now you'll have a magazine here, it'll also take off any barrel attachments, any tacticals, um, also any magazines and uh, the iron sights off the weapon. Um, so this is useful if you want extra magazines, for instance if my nail gun is running low and I wanted to top it up with a new weapon, I could just like, take the magazine out of another nail gun. Obviously don't use this weapon, I'm completely memeing here, uh, but the heartbreaker, yes. So. Last thing that I'm going to cover, we've spoke about hot keying meds, but we also want to talk about how to make bandages and dressings, okay? So what you want to do is you want to salvage whatever item you have. So you salvage it and you'll automatically get cloth. Now you can do this manually by crafting rags, or you can go right up to the crafting menu here and go into this med supplies. You can also scrap your clothing in here. You go to med supplies and you click craft all. Now you'll go from rags then it'll go to bandages and then it'll go to dressings. Now dressings is what you want. That's the highest level of med that you can get. Now remember how to hotkey them. You just right click again and press number three. Or number four, or number five, or number six, or number seven, or number eight, or number nine. Um, so yeah, that's exactly how you do that there. I'm also going to show you where the clothes sit here. So in the clothing tab here, apparel, you see this. And then you just craft all, turned it into cloth, in it here, rags, rags, dressings, bandages, blah, blah, blah. You know the drill. You guys got that, okay? I just wanted to clear that off for you guys.